Good morning, my lovely viewers. How you guys doing today? Thank God it's Friday. You know I love Fridays. I was born on a Friday. Let's get it. It's your boy shaking in. BZ, Mr. Black Love, Mr. Grab It and Bag It. Stake it till you break it. Dash it and stash it. We get, we get, we get, we get money. You already know, baby. So many ways to grind will never stop on my mama. Always about the bag. Let's secure the bag. Let's get paid. Let's get into it. Guys, you're going for 100 likes on this video. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So every time I drop a video, you, yes, you and you and you and you, going to be the first to watch it. And God bless you for watching my videos. Guys, please watch the videos to the end so you never miss anything. Thank you very much. And God bless. So today's topic, I got a good news for some of you guys, you know, my DoorDash drivers. DoorDash now got a Walmart orders removal request. You can send a request to DoorDash to remove Walmart orders, you know, to prevent DoorDash from sending you Walmart grocery orders permanently, you know. If you got, you know, if you do this request and you got your Walmart removed, Walmart orders removed, and you're not getting no more Walmart orders, let us know in the comment section, you know. Are they doing it with restaurants too? Are the grocery stores? I'm pretty sure you can, you know, request anything you want. But are they going to grant it? That, that's the main issue. Are they going to grant it, you know? I really don't, it don't matter to me. That's why I got the decline. That's what a rejection and decline is for. I'm going to reject all those grocery orders. Even though in my market, I've never seen a Walmart order in my market ever. You know? I see a Safeway and a Harris Teeter. They sent me Harris Teeter for pharmacy and a Safeway for like flowers. You know, I reject all that stuff. You know, I don't do it. But this is great news for the, you know, for my dashes who care about the acceptance rate. Because, you know, I don't. I don't give a damn about acceptance rate. DoorDash don't give a damn about acceptance rate. We all know that. But some people do care about the acceptance rate. I don't know why. You know, they want to pick up those trash bags. That's fine. <laughs> we need them. We need the top dashes to accept 75% of their offers and pick up those trash. It's, it's done. But the problem is, you know. This is good news for them in, the, in those people in these markets whereby you get a lot of, you know, Walmart orders or grocery orders, you know. It might be good because now you don't have to worry about, you know, declining these offers and letting, you know, for your AR going down, your symptoms rate going down because you got to reject these offers, you know. I'm pretty sure, you know, DoorDash got their own, you know, apart from Walmart grocery, they got their own grocery now. You got to go shopping or capsize, you pull up, you know, the employee brings it out for what, from whatever grocery store, they put it in your car, you know, and you move. And sometimes you got to go in there and pay with your record and scan the receipt and send it to them, you know. You know, grocery store like HYV, you know, and places like that, you know. Go in there, you got to shop with your record, you know. Take a receipt, a screenshot, and send it to them, you know. I think this is great for people who care about acceptance rate. I mean, I really don't care. For cherry pickers, all I got to do is decline, you know? And the crazy thing is they give you all these options for decline, and you tell them, I don't want to go to the store. They keep sending you these offers. I don't get it. The option I use is value too low or, you know, it's too low. That's all I use. Grove Hub and DoorDash, value too low or whatever that option is, too low. That's all I use. I don't use nothing else. You know? That's how I, I, I get those big bags. Low, low, low offer, low offer. We don't do none of that low offers, man. You know? Y'all be killing me. Some people got 100% acceptance rate. <laughs> Yo, man. Yeah, y'all think, you know, some of you guys think I, I make you guys laugh. But, you know, when I be looking at the comment section, man, y'all be killing me, man. I'll be, I'll be really now laughing. <laughs> You know, my behind off. You feel me? This is crazy, man. Well, I mean, what do you guys think? You think this is good? It might be good for some people in some market, you know. If you have, you know, Walmart grocery, a lot of Walmart grocery coming in, especially during this pandemic, you know. Instacart is being hit hard. That's why they're hiring a lot of, you know, a lot of drivers. But a lot of market are starting to reopen. A lot of states starting to reopen back up, you know. So everything is going to start going back to normal now, you know. 
I don't think you're going to be seeing a lot of people placing, you know, people still going to be doing a grocery shopping regardless, you know, they got to eat. But, you know, is it going to be popping like it's, it's, it's doing right now because of the pandemic? Nobody want to come out, you know. It might slow down a little bit, you know. Who knows? You know, for the next two, three months, you know, before everything goes back to normal, you know. People are still going to be shopping as crazy, this toilet paper, whatever you want to call it, you know. So once you send that request, you know, I'm pretty sure you got to email them support. They're going to send you a form or whatever. I'm not sure. You know, once they send you the form to fill out and they're done doing it, this is the, this is the email they're going to send you. It says, hello, thank you for reaching out. Your request to be removed from Walmart order has been complete. You will no longer be sent Walmart order assignment. Please allow three to five business days for the system to update. Thank you, DoorDash support. So, yeah, there you, there you go. Once everything goes through, that's the email they're going to send you, you know. I feel like you're supposed to, I mean, we should be able to do it, you know, on restaurants and anything else we don't want to do. You know, we partner, you know, we partner with, with these gig companies, but, you know, they still want to treat us like employees, man. <laughs> it's crazy, you know. They should, you know, always let us do what we want to do. You know, if I don't want to go to the restaurant, just remove it. How hard is it? You know? I guess you just got to decline, man. Because, you know, it's up to them for them to decide if they're going to accept your your request or not. But right now, I feel like all they're doing right now is what, just Walmart grocery. You know? I might be wrong, you know? But for right now, what I'm, from what I'm saying, all they're doing right now is just Walmart, you know, Walmart grocery orders, you know? You can request a removal so you never get Walmart orders ever. So the people who got, you know, who got their request done, is it true you don't see no no more Walmart orders, you know, and for how long, you know? You put in your request and you can see DoorDash is fulfilling what they said. You're not going to ever get Walmart orders ever. Is that true? Let me know in the comment section. And how long did you put your request in? Has it been two months now and you're not getting no what Walmart orders? Let me know in the comment section. Let other people know how did you do it. You just re email. You go in the chat. You know, email support or what? What do you do? You know, let the pe other people know. So you know, if they want to remove, request a removal for you know Walmart orders, they know what to do. You feel me? So yeah, man. Yeah. On that note, you know, let's motivate and inspire each other like we always do. You know. We always learning every single day. I'm learning every single day. You know, I'm a veteran in this business four years, but I'm learning every day. That's the same thing you got to do. Learn every single day. You know, what do you want to do? You know, twenty twenty dollars an hour, thirty thousand, whatever your goal is. Just come in every single day and execute it. You know, you just got to be selective for your orders. Don't take hundred percent. It's it's not worth it. I get it. Some people are going to accept 100% regardless what I say. You know, it's fine. Everybody, you do what is best for you in your market. Every market is different. I get it. But all I'm saying is be selective. Cherry pick. Go for the big bags, you know. I'm going to go for 150 where, whereby you, you run around then $6, $7. It's not worth it. It's not. You will not know it's not worth it, you know. But on that note, you guys enjoy your weekend. God bless everybody. You are the best. Secure yourself. Know your what. No, 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 little office, man. Let's spread love around the world. Let's stop the hating. And God bless everybody, man. Y'all be safe. And y'all enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Let's get it. Boss.